Hello and welcome to Big Dash Knows. Big Dash Knows what? New York Giants football. Let's go. Today's video is going to be a, a quick preview of the NFC East. Um, I'm going to be the most unbiased that I can be in regards to the NFC East. Um, we already know there's a lot of bad blood with the t between the fan bases. Um, more so than the, even the teams and the players um, and we understand why you know you know it's nothing new um, the NFC East one thing I will say before I get started though um, I do hate that we're considered the NFC least and I think in order for us to change that all the teams have to be playing at a high level and I think we're making those strides as a division um, to move into those you know one of the being listed as a tough conference or a tough division to play against and I'm hoping we can get back to those battles that we did you know earlier in the 2000s and even before that so um that's why I want to start it off at before I get into you know my preview but let's go let's get right into it so my rankings uh, for the division right now my preview uh, preseason um, going into the season rankings for the NFC East um, it's going to be number one the Philadelphia Eagles number two the Dallas Cowboys number three the Washington Commanders and number four there is no number four because I just gave you the list of the most hated teams uh, in the division for in, in my opinions so but no um keeping it real um, I do want to give you guys you know a real ranking but um the list that I just gave you is my rankings for the division with the Giants um, coming in fourth and I can't do anything else I'll be I would be too biased as a fan to, to um, rank the Giants uh, anywhere other than four. Um, do I think we're going to end up being number four? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not with the moves we made, not with the new coaching scheme, um, not with the guys that we drafted. I don't think we're going to be number four, but this is just my you know preseason um, rankings right now for the division. So, um, again, so number one, we have the Philadelphia Eagles, and to me, um, the Philadelphia Eagles are the team to beat in the division. Um, they're the ones that right now uh, seem to be the most complete. Uh, it's very close between them and Dallas. Um, the question marks still lie with the quarterback. Um, and Jalen Hurts, man, um, doesn't get a lot of credit for what he can do. We all see um, what he can't do in times. He has an issue, you know, turning the ball over, but he makes that team better with his rushing ability. Uh, he can also make some plays down the field as well. Um, the Eagles had a, a good draft. They had a good draft. Um, you know, they picked up Jordan Davis. They got Nicobe Dean, amongst other other guys. You know, to help out on that on that defense. But again, like I said, oh, they also picked up AJ Brown uh, via trade in the draft as well. So you know, they 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 had a pretty good off season, and um, I think if they can capitalize on the additions that they um, brought in then I can see the Eagles right back where they were. Same place as last year. Um, but again, it all depends on how good that quarterback play is uh, going into um, going into the season. And that's the biggest question mark. And that's just what, a, if you ask Eagles fans, they're probably gonna tell you the same thing. It all, it all depends on what Jalen Hurts does. Now, number two is gonna be the Dallas Cowboys. And um, as much as I don't like the Dallas Cowboys, Dak Prescott is the best quarterback in the division, hands down, without a doubt. Um, now, if you look at it, the Dallas Cowboys had a sneaky good draft. They had some some later picks, not really late picks, but some later picks. Uh, Sam Williams, they picked up uh, Ferguson, the tight end. Um, they got Damone Clark, too. They snuck him on the roster. You know, he had the guy from LSU, linebacker. He's probably going to sit most of the season, uh, maybe even the whole season. But once he's healthy, you add that guy to that linebacker room. Now, you know, with Micah Parsons, uh, now you have a guy like Damone Clark side to side. You'll see some things happening. Um, so Dallas Cowboys always been a solid drafting team. And I think that um, they'll be right back to where, you know, they were, um, depending on depending on if they have any fall-offs or anything like that. Dan Quinn has that defense playing well. Um, uh, and then it's the question mark is, okay, how, how good are the receivers with Dak now that Mari Cooper's gone? Now, so Cooper left, C.D. Lamb moves into that wide receiver one spot, and all the, the wide receivers in the, on the depth chart after that have slid up. So um, we'll see what happens there with the early chemistry. Dak does not have the best 
um, record with playing without uh, Amari Cooper. So we'll see what happened. Ezekiel Elliott is on the decline, in my opinion. But you do have Tony Pollard, uh, who should be taking a lot more of those reps than uh, Ezekiel Elliott, in my opinion. Um, but that's just my quick review of the Dallas Cowboys. Um, them and the Philadelphia Eagles right now at the top of the division. Um, that's why I have these guys. Now, um, the Washington Commanders. Now, it's, it's a little bit tricky when I think about the Washington Commanders because, yes, they picked up Carson Wentz, who took over for the spot for Heineke, which, which Heineke needed to be replaced. But you replace him with Carson Wentz. Now, a lot of people talk about, oh, Carson Wentz this, Carson Wentz that. But when y'all first were in the QB market, Carson Wentz was not on your radar. So don't act like y'all were big fans of Carson Wentz when y'all first picked him up. Y'all dealing with him right now. But it is what it is. So, and, and let, let me not be crazy about it. Carson Wentz is a good quarterback. Um, Carson Wentz, uh, you know, the, the whole division is familiar with Carson Wentz. He came from Philadelphia. He went, to, he went and had a cup of coffee with the Colts. And now, you know, he, he's back in the NFC East now playing with the Commanders. Um, nobody's scared of Carson Wentz. Um, he can give you guys some good play. Um, he is a solid quarterback. But um, you see what happens in the biggest moments. Um, he let his backup take the team to the Super Bowl and win it. So let's just take a step back. But Washington still has a good defense. Um, they had a, a, a nice draft. They picked up a running back that I wanted in um, Brian Robinson out of Alabama. Um, they picked up a nice wide receiver as well in Dotson. We'll see how that how that fits in. They just paid Scary Terry, so he's locked in for the next. Um, oh, he's locked into I believe it's a three year extension. So Washington should be right where they were before. They should have some better quarterback play, and that makes the division more competitive. And I'm all for that. So uh, lastly, I just want to talk about my New York Giants. Now. Obviously, some of the biggest changes in the division came from the New York Giants. New GM, new coaching staff, new scheme, um, brought in a defensive coordinator that we feel will bring that aggressiveness back to New York. And um, that's something that we've been waiting for. Now, just like Philadelphia, our main question mark is the quarterback position and what kind of play we're going to get. Now, I will say this, um, Daniel Jones, uh, his rookie year has some flashes. A lot of turnovers his second and third year the turnovers reduced but also the production went down under Jason Garrett so now we got the biggest question mark ever and the Giants didn't pick up that fifth year option so now he's playing for his career and I've said it before in past videos Daniel Jones is playing for his career right now or at least his career in New York um, with with uh, Dable with Kafka coming in bringing that new scheme how are they gonna merge it I think that you know they're gonna put Daniel Jones in the best position and hopefully if the weapons stay healthy that's the main thing the weapons need to stay healthy for the team as a whole no matter who the quarterback is we need our weapons healthy that's Barkley that's Tony that's Galladay that whole receiver room Shepard's probably gonna start on on the pup list we need these guys playing and clicking and clicking fast we got the first week it's gonna be Tennessee but you know I think that we can do some things this year make some improvements not saying some gigantic leap but at least we want to be a watchable team and competitive within the division and hopefully the games mean something in november and december that's what i want to see first for my new york giants but that's just my quick preview of the nfc east um if you agree with me put it in the comments below if you disagree with me put it in the comments below as well I love to hear from you guys. I always interact um, with you guys in the comments. Um, I'm right here. I'm right here. You guys, you know, you guys can see me. I'm here. I'm always talking with you guys, and I appreciate you guys just tuning in. So from one Giants fan uh, to another, or I should say one NFC East fan to another, this is Big Dash Nose, Big Blue Nation. Let's go.